Sarah Shurtia. And I'm John Shurtia. And why are we here? What's interesting about the two of you? What's, what's interesting? What's not interesting? <laughs> we we're, we we're, have the nation's first flying car. <laughs> we're the, we're the father-daughter team, one, the only one in the country, one of five who citizens, who normal citizens, not that we're normal, who have a black fly in their hangar and are able to fly it. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. Fun. We use this black fly for fun. We love it. We've learned how to do it. I've dreamed about this for all, literally all my life, and I'm able to do it. Our kick is that we're father-daughter, learn together on the simulator in Palo Alto, California. I've, I've flown low, high-wing planes, low-wing planes, gyroplanes, flown in just about every other plane, and what was left? There was, a, when I heard about electric airplanes and we saw it in Oshkosh, we just, both of us, we were there in 2018 and we fell in love with it. And we said, we gotta get one of these. It took six years of negotiation <laughs> and so on to get us to the point that this was delivered to us in Milton, Delaware. We saw this thing and it was like, it was like the next generation of, of aircraft, of, you know, flying car for every man. So, he became obsessed with it, then he got me obsessed with it, then every year we would show up. We became like their biggest fans, and then... We were groupies. We were groupies, we were absolute groupies. You couldn't buy one, no one could fly it, there was no human flight yet, they were still in testing, and so we just sort of trailed along like a bratty little sister and annoyed them year after year after year. And eventually they said, okay, we're gonna do this early access program, and I think, Maybe we were the first people that they called because they knew that we would be like, yes, we have to do this. With a regular flying car, flying car, you need, you need a runway and you need a road. There's no road out here where we flew this morning and we'll show you flying this afternoon. You don't need a runway and you don't need a road to drive on. You gotta go from point A, point B, which is the secret of, of, of of a car, any car, regular car or a flying car. Heather does these social media things and we're talking to 15,000 people while we're flying around. They call it every, that's not a flying car. It doesn't have wheels. How can you call it a flying car? That's actually a Chinese spaceship. It's this, <laughs> it's that. It's everything but a flying car. Don't call it a flying car. And we come back, it's a flying car. If you say flying car, everybody thinks, oh, Jetsons, they, the Jetsons had a flying car, right? It comes to your carport, you get in and it goes. The Jetsons flying car did not have wheels. It was not a bad car. It was a good flying car, right? I equate it when I was a kid, I always dreamed about flying on a magic carpet. Go to sleep at night, I'd, I'd be on that magic carpet flying. Well, fortunately I became a pilot and I, that was my magic pilot right there, my Aronka champ but you take this thing up, like this morning, it was absolutely perfect. There was hardly any wind up there. It was as smooth as can be. And I'm thinking, I'm on my flying carpet right now. And it's wonderful. This is the next big step for society. This is like the Wright Brothers. You know, we had Wright Brothers. And then we had going into space. And now we have the flying car. It's the next big thing. And so for me, I feel like a pioneer. I feel like the first person who has been honored to be, you know, blessed with being selected as one of the, the first five people to participate in this incredible transformation of societies. And me, I turn 87 in two months. What have I got left, 20 years? So in 20 years, I'm gonna see dramatic changes in this. This I've only been living with for six years. And what can happen in the next 10 to 20 years is absolutely unbelievable. When we are ready to start flying, we have a whole checklist here which covers how to plug it in, charging, what to look for when you walk around the, uh, the aircraft. But I'll just walk you through. Um, I can go by the checklist and I normally do that um, during flight, but let's, let's go for charging. When you start charging, you have to have the power on 
of the vehicle. We're gonna walk over here and grab our 240 chargers right here. Each one of these is a quad charger. There are four charging units in here and it connects to the wall to a 240 volt over in the wall. And then you take, you take the recharging cable and you plug one into the front wing and one into the back wing. And this will start flashing. Now let's do a full walk around. I'm looking at my body, making sure there's no cracks, no visible damage. These are my GPS triangulators. They actually receive GPS signal from three different satellites and triangulate my position. This is my pitot tubes. I'm making sure these are solid. These pitot tubes are solid. I mean, I'm talking put in there with cement. <laughs> okay, everything looks good here. Let's go down the fuselage. We're gonna check the keel. Now I'm gonna check inside my cockpit. I've got two redundant joysticks. They're exactly the same. I fly with one, I can fly with either one. I've got a parachute handle. I don't like to wiggle that a lot. Just enough to know that it's secure. I check my canopy harnesses, all good. I check my radio's good. My landing camera is still connected. Everything looks good here. Okay, so let's continue the physical walk around. I like to know that the yoke is on there solid. I see the direction of the screws. They look great. This is my radar right here. The radar, there's actually GPS triangulation, which goes up. And then there's radar, which shoots down. So it shoots down to the ground. And so there are four radar units. There's one on each wing. So what we do to check the, the radars on the physical check, we just wiggle it and make sure it feels solid. But we're gonna do another radar check over on the screen in a minute. These are not ailerons. This is what's called an elevon, which is, um, a bit of a combination between an elevator and an aileron, an elevon. When I check my elevons, I wanna make sure I have full range of motion. So I push all the way down, good. I check underneath, there's little metal connectors under there. They look good. I pull up a little, not too far up. I don't wanna stress the carbon fiber joint. So, and then I continue onwards. This is my winglet. Now what's really cool about the Black Fly is it's actually an amphibious vehicle. This is a float. I could land on water if I have to. That looks solid, nothing going on there, I'm happy. Now each wing you wanna go from side to side and you wanna check everything. There's little air vents here, cause there's batteries inside. There's a battery here, battery here. Two batteries for each wing. I wanna check that my propellers are spinning properly. Left, right, up, down, good. I check that my, my air cooling vents here, these little fins, um, those are coolants. And I wanna make sure there's nothing lodged in there, no grass, nothing that, that got you know, put in there. Check my antenna. And this is my ground camera. I actually have a ground camera that looks down. So then it becomes redundant at this point because we continue on down the wing. And then I set my propellers this way because as you look down the wing, I say, oh look, I checked all four of my propellers. They're all lined up. If I get into any kind of trouble, the ballistic parachute will work over about 150 feet. Shoots out of here when I pull that red handle in the cockpit, shoots out, connects, connects, and you float down. Left, right, up, down, good. Fins, vents, radar, vents, all good. So walk around is complete. Now, I have a second walk around that I do, and it's a machine interface walk around. Okay, all propeller checks are complete. Next, we go radar. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my radar. Think about what your radar does. Your radar shoots a beam down to the ground. So in order to check if the radar is functioning, I actually have to change the altitude between the ground and the radar. Okay, so the Elevon check is really simple. It just sends the Elevon up, down, and center for each one of the elevons. And we say, yes, 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 correct. And then this is a yaw check. So we walk the whole vehicle forward and we kind of tilt it as we walk. And it checks the yaw and the banking motion to make sure that the machine is picking that up properly. Then there's pitot tube checks. So we change the pressure in each pitot tube by blowing in them. And that will check whether the pitot tubes are working. And then we do the um, joystick checks. Here I can actually do, I'll do one of the joysticks forward, 
backwards, left, right, yaw, yaw, rock her up, rock her down, left button, right button, trigger. So that shows how we check, and we just check the left joystick, so all the motions are correct for that joystick. So then I'll want to do the right joystick. And then finally, we have to do stuff like confirm our pilot weight. Did you check for temporary flight restrictions? Um, what in, you know, did you check the wind? So all of these things are all about wind, TFRs, aircraft regulations, that type of thing. So you go through all those and you read those and you check and make sure all of those things are correct. Yes, I did all of those checks. And then finally we're done. So you accept and close down and boom, we'd be ready for flight, but we're still recharging. So 43% on battery already. I, I've already picked up 20, while we were doing this walk around, I picked up almost 20% in battery. So won't be long now before we're ready to fly again. I'm all good, ready to start. Okay, selecting my joystick. Joystick selected. Elvon movement. Right, left, back, and back. Surface wind, almost non-existent. Area takeoff path is clear. We will not abort. We're clear for takeoff here. And I'm going to I'm going to confirm takeoff. All my checks are complete. Any better than that? Survive it!